Darwin Bicentennial. So why does everybody think this guy is so special? Just because a man was born two centuries ago who, as far as anyone knows, was the first to recognize the underlying pattern behind the pageant, affectionately known as life on this planet? He was the first to understand it, the first to translate his amazement at the wonder of life into a way to explain it. So this is a celebration of Darwin's greatness in the form of a rap. Some would say a debasement. I would say be patient. Just think of this as a manifestation of the evolutionary equation, as a recapitulation of life, a reenactment. So how do you go from amoebas to rappers? You open the origin of species and read its chapters. The first chapter is about the impact of people's actions on farm animals, pets, and domestic crops. Where did they come from? From original stocks of wild animals and plants which were selected and crossed for the best properties and thus became the effect of their cause. But of course, not every selection was conscious. Still, even if breeders in ancient Egypt couldn't see this and had no idea how to rework the features of a species of sheep or increase the sweetness of the peaches every season when they chose to seed it or to feed it or to breed it or to weed it out and delete it because they didn't see it as needed whether the preferences in question were for bigger chicken breasts or whippets with a thinner midsection or if it was just an inner predilection to pick the best in any mixed collection that's artificial selection artificial selection it starts with a question how do people ever get cows chickens or pigs and other animals and plants that act so domestic we took it from the wild and we bred them bred them artificial selection it starts with a question how do people ever get cows chickens or pigs and other animals and plants that act so Nothing artificial about domestication. Ant colonies keep domestic aphids. It's just an arrangement where one hand washes the other. We protect the cow and the cow offers the other. And even if there's never a conscious discussion, if our little selections and little preferences can change and enhance the critical differences between wild and domestic breeds over the centuries, then maybe that can explain everything. In nature, it isn't us that makes the selections. It's just survival and reproduction in the midst of competition, where slight differences that arise randomly get selected by the pressures applied environmentally and eventually species divide like a family tree into everything alive from a fly to a manatee so how does this apply to the craft of the MC? Well variation is found in the styles on display. Rappers all have different techniques when they're on stage and the results can be seen in the audience's face like in my shows people all look amazed like guppies removed abruptly from their aquatic space. Some of their minds are racing over questions of style and race and genre and time and place and some of their eyes are glazed like for God God's sake, how long will this take? But if they all feel that way, then soon I'd be replaced by someone more entertaining, like maybe Lil Wayne. This is the rap version of the doctrine of Malthus, the proportion of hungry mouths to food resources in the form of captive audiences where crowds of two or more will always be at least half as common as performers. Can you see the mathematical problem? But survival on stage is a non-random process because those who get massive responses tend to influence those who aspire to get massive responses. So if you say I sound like Eminem, then I'll say that's preposterous. But if you catch me grabbing my crotch and acting obnoxious, then I might have to acknowledge that this is a form of imitation modified by experience, which is similar to the genetic basis of inheritance, except it's part Darwinism and part Lamarckism with genes and culture co-evolving as we rock to the rhythm. But whether you think cultures really evolve, or if it's just a silly metaphor that's pretty but false, or whether you've never even thought about that, I still think Darwin could teach us a lot about rap, because it's all about that competition for status with intricate language delivered in battles and about getting that fitness advantage in the different adaptive behavior patterns that have us acting crazier than cap or Kaylee mating dances. But hey, that's natural selection. So just sit back and listen and witness the evolution of the rap profession. Artificial selection starts with a question. How do people ever get cows, chickens, and pigs, and other animals and plants that act so domestic? We took them from the wild and we bred them. Artificial selection starts with a question. How do 